everybody. I hope you are doing well. Bailey Pop here. And today I am making Uncrustables from home. Let's go. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't already met, my name is Bailey. Nice to meet you. I enjoy collecting Funko Pops and also things like anime, Marvel, Disney. If you enjoy that kind of content, make sure to stick around. A little caveat to that. I also like pretending to know that I can cook because I watched so much Food Network as a child that it's ingrained in me. So now as I try to cook things, I demonstrate them for people. And today we are going to be making Uncrustables from home because I found something, well, it more so came on my For You page. Thank you, TikTok. That allows me to make Uncrustables from home. And now you can also do it for the cheap price of, I think it's like $6.69 or something like that. It's probably not the price, but it's close. It was around seven or eight dollars. But to make sure this is Funko Pop related here, I will show you something that Dante just has gifted me that I am obsessed with. I feel like it would be more fitting if this was Pum Pum Burin, but they don't have a Funko Pop of him yet. But Dante just gifted me Groby and Sue. This is from the My Hero Academia line. Now all I'm missing is bats and my melody. I'm so excited. But yes, I will be putting this up into the castle at some point, but right now we are making lunch because I'm hungry. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it sweet. We're gonna keep it semi-homemade. I got bread. It's bread. Got peanut butter that is not good for me. As in, we bought just the generic kind of kind that doesn't need to be stirred. If there is an oil at the top, it's not good for you. Get the ones that have the oil at the top that you need to mix. <laughs> then we also need some jelly. Here's the jelly. Jelly. Not sponsored. Unless somebody wants to sponsor me for food, then I definitely will take that. I don't know, I like doing things that show more of my personality, more of me outside of Funko Pops, because I think I'm an interesting person. Do you think I'm an interesting person? Thanks. I know I'm not that funny, but still, we're gonna take bread. You guys know how to make sandwich, right? Yeah, this is honey wheat. Why is there such a big divot in the middle? Can we not? Bread on a plate. Are you one of those people that stack them on top of each other or do you put them on separate pieces of bread? I'm a separate pieces of bread kind of person. I also prefer more jelly than peanut butter and the jelly has to be cold. You don't need no lukewarm jelly in this house. I think I should show you what I'm doing with my hands. Plate, bread, jelly, peanut butter. Whoa! I also think I like the jar version better than the squeeze. You guys have made sandwiches before, right? We're making a sandwich. You need something to spread stuff with. Today, we're using a spoon because I don't want to get demonetized. And we're gonna take our peanut butter. We're gonna take the peanut butter, and we're gonna take the peanut butter, and we're gonna take the peanut butter. We're gonna spread the peanut butter. Whoa, I feel like it just got all stuck on the spoon. Spread, 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 spread. This is not efficient. Also, I hate that these plates never have enough space on them. Hold on, I'm getting a bigger plate. Yeah, pink plate. Pink is better anyway. There we go. That makes my life way easier. I think that's enough peanut butter. And we're taking the jelly. I'm gonna jelly it up. Yeah. I feel like that's enough. It's just gonna be the center. That's probably more than enough. Spread the jelly. Spread the jelly. Spread the jelly or the jam. Whatever you call it. It's a peanut butter and jelly, so I call it jelly. Yeah. Fun fact. I actually didn't like peanut butter and jellies. I only liked peanut butter until I was a kid. And now, I don't really like peanut butter at all. Only in few instances. For instance, I like them on pb and and I like it in Reese's peanut butter cups sometimes. Now that we've done that, let me introduce you to this thing. It's a sandwich cutter that's a circle and then this thing which you pre put it in the inside and you press it like that and it makes ridges but you do that after you cut. You'll see what I mean. It also comes with two other cutters and an insert that fits inside of the middle one. This is for when you have sandwiches that have like deli meat and cheese and stuff. You use the smaller cutter to cut out those things to put them in the middle of your sandwich and then you use this to cut and then you push it down. Hopefully that makes sense. Or for instance if you wanted to do a full-size sandwich and not a mini sandwich with this one you would cut out the cheese or ham with this does that make sense i'll link it down below because this is way cheaper to just buy one of these and make your own sandwiches at home than it is to buy uncrustables even though i know uncrustables are more convenient get the bread it's a mess on this plate already oh my gosh the, see this bread it has the hole there so we're just gonna do that i feel like i didn't put enough there well it's too late you can't go back now so we're gonna do this squish it down Squish it down. Squish down the bread now. All right, I think I got it all. Put our crusts to the side. You take that and you smoosh. So you can already tell. And you can do it on both sides. However, unless it's like perfectly lined up to how it already is on one side, it kind of just makes the edges flat. Squish, 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 squish. You pull this off and ta-da. You have Uncrustables at home. Unfortunately, it's not perfect because of the bread we had. Ain't that neat? You see what I mean? Like if you tried to do it on this side, then these holes would just get pushed the other way. Just don't look at it the other way. Only look at it this way and then it's perfect. All right, now for the moment of truth. Look at, maybe I should have put more in. Here? I don't know. Do not 
comfortable. I think I should have put more jelly. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's peanut butter and jelly, what we put in it. I'm gonna make like two more of these. The perk of this now though, is that you can make anything in a crustable. If you like tuna salad, if you want a BLT on crustable, you can make a BLT on crustable. I don't know exactly how that would work, but you can. If you enjoyed this video, maybe leave a little like, a little comment, whatever you're feeling like today. If I can remember, I will try to link this down below. If I don't remember to, tell me. Hug me like crazy until I do, and I'll put it as a pinned comment. Also consider subscribing. That'd be dope. Thank you for all of the lovely people that support me and follow me across all of my different platforms. Your love and support is what makes these videos possible. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Please remember that you are loved, you are valued, and you're freaking enough. Bye.